It's Friday. It's Friday, my friend. Mm. Cheers. 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 Cheers to everybody. Cheers, made America. It. Made it through the week. Congratulations. It's fun day Friday. We're having a great time. Yes, we are. It's all about ribs today. Mm. We're mm -mm. going to teach you a few things about ribs. Uh, probably show you a few things about ribs that you never thought you would see in your life. I would hope so. I would hope so. But we have been getting ready all week long for RecTech Fest, Jody. That's right. I promise you guys, we've already cooked about 16 cases of pork butt, and that's just like dipping the big toe in the bucket. Just getting it ready for getting all that free food. I'm telling you. Free drinks. Entertainment. Free entertainment. It's going to be a good time. You're going to be there. Yeah, I'm going to be there. How about you? I'm going to be there. Chef Greg will be there. I'm telling you. Ray Carnes will be there. Let's get it. Man. All right, we're going to have a good day. It's Monday, Friday. We'll see you soon. Guy yeah. Who they were talking to? Jody Flanagan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the go getter. The go getter. The I go -getter. make things happen. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm you, saying? Yeah, you do. Uh, uh, facilitator. Yeah, you are. Of many things. Mm -hmm. But hey, we have a great day on the Rec Tech deck. We're in the sun. Yeah. Hopefully, everybody can see us. Please put it in the comment section if you can't see us or hear us. Speaking of the comment section, let us know where you're watching from. And let us know what your favorite rib to cook is in the comment section down below, please. And we'll give you three seconds to smash that share button. Count us down, John. Three, two, one, smash it! But again, let me know in the comment section down below. Shout out to YouTube. We love you, YouTube. Yeah, we do love you, You're YouTube. You're out there live. We yeah. shout out to Facebook. You're out there live. Mm -hmm. We love you. We thank you. I want to thank YouTube last night, uh, Late Night Munchies. Uh, I think it was episode five is what wow, we did. You're yeah, already on the fifth episode. That's right. So if you guys haven't checked it out, pop on over to YouTube, give it a look. It was fun. We well, did. Since uh, I'm Coconut subscribing Christmas to YouTube. the Rectech YouTube channel, yeah. it popped right up onto my look at that onto my feed here. Look Shout out there. to everybody in the comment section. It's just Chad Meissner. Shout out Chad. Chad, Meissner. what's up, bro? He's from Grand Junction, Colorado, and he likes baby back ribs. Cheers to you Cheers and baby you, back ribs. Look, Chad, I'm glad you just brought us right into our next little segment here. Amen. So. What we have here tonight, or today, is we have some baby back, which are your favorites, Chad, right here. And then we have some spare ribs, right? Which are my favorite. Jody, what about you? Yep, I'm a huge fan of those St. Louis cut spare ribs. I feel like they're, they've just got a lot more meat on them. Again, they're a little bit longer as opposed to those curved baby back ribs. So why do you think that baby backs get all the love? What is that? Is that a marketing it, thing? It's definitely a marketing thing, my man. Okay. All right, because I do love the spare ribs too. I feel like they have a lot more of that intermuscular fat in there, and there's going to be a lot juicier. I, oh, shoot, yeah. I, 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 that's how I feel. But we're going to show you a cool way. What? We're going to show them a cool way how to do these. Sorry, everybody. Oh, you're not even on. Yeah. Am I on? Yeah, buddy. I think I'm on. Okay. Definitely not. <laughs> All right, but we're going to show everybody a cool way how to do these uh, ribs. That's right. You Savannah, Grovetown, Athens, California, Indianapolis, uh, California again. Shout out everybody. Yeah, keep on going, big guy. What yeah. do you got? Well, Cook I mean, us up some stuff. Okay. So, so when you're picking ribs, what are you looking for when you're choosing ribs? All right, so first thing I'm looking for is uh, un uniformity, right? So okay. I want my ribs to be pretty much, they're not going to be exact, but pretty much the same uh, size on this side is the same size on that side, right? right? That's what I look for first. And then once I've found that, I start to look inside the package to see what kind of fat is in between these, right? Now you're looking for that big fat on the outside, no, right? No, I'm trying to look at that intermuscular fat in between all the muscles. If you see it good, then you know you're gonna be okay. And these look great right here, right? Uh, sometimes people will try to check the back if they're gonna be competition ribs to see if any of the bones are poking out, but then you're really just trying to, you're going a little overboard. Okay, okay. But, so intermuscular fat and the same thickness, and you did a great job of picking these out. You've done this before once or twice. Yes, sir, absolutely. Yes. So. Since spare ribs are our favorite, we're going to save the baby backs for Chef Greg, okay. right? And I'm going to show you guys, take you all through our method for cooking these. Now, now you, again, this is going to be uh, on the website at rectech.com, right. R-E-C-T-E-Q.com, where that's you right. can find some amazing sales and specials. That's right. Go check it out. We want to head you there. And again, we were talking about Rectech Fest earlier. If you guys want to find out more information about Rectech Fest, that's right. make sure you sign up for that Facebook event, yeah. uh, as well as uh, sign up uh, on the website to mm -hmm. receive the newsletter. Yeah, yeah. I love it. All right. So now guys, for backyard, I, there's a membrane on the back of these ribs, right? Now for backyard, I don't ever really pull it. Yeah, me neither. But if you're going to pull it, go ahead and get yourself a paper towel, right? 
I like to find that bone. Can you get in there, Taylor? If you can see it starting to come off. That's that second bone from the end. Oh, okay. Chef tip. You could also use a, a, a spoon. A spoon or a fork. But you see how easy it just comes right up. Right? And you just pull you pull it all the way off. Now, for all of you guys who don't worry or aren't worried about that really, then you could do what I do. So I just take my knife and I'm just gonna score the back of this, right? What? Just score it. Not cutting it into the muscle. I'm just cutting that, just that membrane a little bit. And once it starts to cook, it'll peel that membrane up. So that's a little chef tip for you right there too. All right. Wellaska, Georgia, Thornton, Colorado, Quartz Hill, California, Evans, baby, Evans. Utah. Hey, we got a retail location out there mm -hmm. in Lehigh, Utah, sure do. ladies and gentlemen. So if you're looking for, to come and hang out at Rec Tech and yeah. you're up there on the West Coast, uh, we highly suggest uh, going and checking out that Lehigh, Utah location. Beautiful retail location. Be Beautiful folks out there too. Full. Beautiful country. It really is. It really is. Super nice. My first time out there was uh, last year. And it, yeah, totally took me by surprise. Yep. I love Texas, it. California. Georgia, still coming. Let us know where you're watching from. Yeah, please What's do. your favorite rib is. Now, Jody, do you inject your ribs when you are doing backyard? For backyard, Chef John, no, I never inject my ribs. Okay. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of doing any other work besides seasoning them bad boys. Okay, I like that. Okay. Well, today we're gonna be using that Rectec pork ejection. So you like injecting these uh, bad boys? I do like injecting them. I know that uh, if I don't inject them and I don't, I'm not gonna wrap, Okay. It's, oh. a, it's a good thing if oh. I know I'm not going to wrap my ribs. If I'm going to wrap, I okay. won't necessarily inject. Right. But so this is a quarter cup. We made this really easy for you for this injection because injections can be super crazy. There's a whole bunch of different a tablespoon of this, a teaspoon. We made okay. this, we made it super easy for you. It's going to be two caps, which is going to be a half a cup. This is a quarter cup. The cap at the top of the lid. Right. Right. Now, if you wanted to just use half, you could. But I'm going to show you the full recipe. So it's two caps, fulls. So half cup. Half a cup to 16 ounces of water. So Jody's got the little <laughs> little eight ounces for me. Hey, I went and got those for Orlando. I appreciate it. Shout out Orlando, that's right. You wanna tell everybody where we're gonna be? Yeah, we're gonna be uh, hanging out in Orlando Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, coming back on Thursday. So if you're in the Orlando area, yeah. Uh, hit us up. Yeah, you want to take sure. us out to dinner? We love that. Uh, buy us some drinks. That's right. Uh, we will be hanging out in Orlando. That's you know right. What we're talking about uh, a bunch of our friends. Are, we're already meeting up with a bunch of our friends over there mm -hmm. uh, at the convention center area. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's so right. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be a great time. I heard Ray Carnes may be there. Ooh. I, I mean, well, he I is going to be there because I'm driving him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, well, he's, so he's definitely going to be there. Gonna be there. And he just right. texted me and he wanted to know if I wanted to come and pick up, pick up his truck today. Sorry, oh, Ray. you're driving race truck. Yeah, we're driving race truck. Is that truck. that Rolls Royce truck? No, it's the F F250. Oh, uh, okay. No, All no right. Rolls Royce truck for me and Ray. <laughs> All right, so the key to this injection <laughs> is you definitely want to make sure that you shake this long enough and hard enough that you break all of the granules down, all right? Because they kind of get caught in your injector, oh, injector and it won't push it all the way through. So don't be afraid to shake, shake, shake it up, all right? All right, so now that we have it all shooken up, love that. we're gonna go ahead and inject. Now, do you like to let your ribs sit out, Chef John, or do you like to immediately get to injecting and immediately putting them on the grill? What do you recommend for the folks out there? I love watching? that, that's a great question. So normally what I'll do is I will take it out of the package and let it get to about room temperature. That way okay. the injection is gonna go in there nice and smooth. Okay. If the meat's kind of cold, it's gonna kind of be harder for it to disperse throughout it. Cause you can understand that, that meat's cold, the muscles are all tight, just oh. like you are when you get cold. Yeah. The same thing Very happens with the uh, pork. So it's gonna be nice and tight. So when it's been room temperature, it's relaxed, that injection is gonna spread through this thing nice and easy. Love but, that. But I always do like to let it sit for a minute, Jody, after I inject it, to let that injection kind of do its thing. And then yeah, we'll you can let it sit for up to 12 hours. That's you right. know, when we're doing competitions, you know, we're gonna let it sit at least 12 hours mm -hmm. in that injection. So um, all of that liquid gets dispersed evenly into that tire piece of meat. That's right. Shoot ya, shoot ya. All right, so guys, this in injecting is so easy. So what we're gonna do is, you guys can see the bones, right? Okay. So we're just gonna go right in between the bones. So you don't wanna inject the bone? No. Obviously, you don't want to inject the bone. Okay. The bone won't let you inject it. And the ah. other thing is you can't inject in fat either, everybody. You see it plumping up like that? Get in there, Taylor. Now, those are going to look like hot dogs when Chef John is done with them, everybody. Right. Get, we need you to share this video all over the internet and show folks how to make award-winning ribs. So we'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Smash, Smash it, Chef Sorry. 
I love it. All right, so we're just gonna keep doing it. So as I'm injecting everybody, I'm pulling the needle out. So the injection's starting at the back and we're working our way back towards the end of the bone. New Jersey, Orlando, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, please put them down below. Shout out uh, we'd Orlando. We'd love to know. Uh, Sacramento, California. Ooh, here's a good question from Scott Woolhouse. Hey, Scott. How much trimming did you do on those ribs? Not a bit. You, right. saw, you saw what I did, Scott. Right. How now, much trimming do you do on most of your ribs, not, Chef Joe? Not, not a bit, Scott, really, to okay. tell you the truth. Now, if I'm going to do competition, that's totally different. We're talking backyard here. For you guys, Scott, if you were to come over to my house, I would not have done anything to these ribs because I did a great job of picking them out and making sure that they're even on both sides. I know it's going to cook pretty evenly, and I'm not going to have one side finished before the other. So really, you know, for backyard, that's what you're looking for. Man, a lot of folks out there in YouTube land. Thank you guys so much for yeah, watching. Yeah, thanks guys. So is the, what do you, what way do you find is the best way to get that membrane off, Chef John? With paper towels. So With the paper best, towels. Yeah, that's so the best way. like Jody said, you can get a spoon uh, or a butter knife and slide it right up under that bone and then get some dry paper towels and just pull it straight off. That's the best way for me. Man, shout out to Mark. He says he loves the show. Thanks, <laughs> Mark, Mark is an amazing person. Yeah, we love you, Mark. Uh, but his first smoke on the 1250 is going on right now. What? So I want everybody out there in Rectech land, yeah. let's all gang up against Mark and tell him, <laughs> and tell him good luck yeah wish mark good luck in the in the comment section down below for sure we want to show him some love yeah. it's his first cook on his 1250. Dude. he's gonna knock it out of the park now mark tell us what put it in the comment what are you cooking for your first cook Let is it chicken know, thighs we want to know that's right that's hey that's a very good suggestion yeah. chef john that's right uh, for first cooks we suggest cooking something super fatty ladies and gentlemen um the reason why that is is because we want to splash grease up on the inside of that chamber and start the seasoning exactly right. process so chicken thighs are a great first cook that's right hamburgers are a great first cook uh bacon yep. are a great first cook all of those all three of those mm -hmm. you can cook at 400 degrees yep so after your burn in, you can go ahead and do your thighs, do your burgers, do your bacon, get some grease up on the inside. Yeah. And that sounds like amazing uh, sandwich, it chicken, does. burger, and it bacon, does. you know what I'm saying? It does. Um, but again, we want your first cook. Uh, we want you to knock your first cook out of the park. Yeah. So chicken thighs, burgers, and bacon, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, Taylor made. you can see how the injections oh, made these Lord. plump up right here? Lord, like show that? Them. Look, like show hot doggy? Like it's like... Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, those were nice and flat before, so that's all that injection working in here. All right, so the other Looks thing... It's like your toes poking up out of the side. It really does. So the other thing I wanted to tell y'all, and I do this for backyard too, when I'm seasoning my ribs, I always season the bone side first, presentation side last. Very good point. Why? So that you don't have to touch it again, you know? You Once, eat with your eyes first. That's right. Once you've seasoned it at the top, we can go ahead and put them straight on the grill. Now I'll let this rest for probably about 30 minutes, 45 minutes tops. And then we're going to go straight on to the grill. But Jody, you did some award-winning ribs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but we've, we've done many award-winning ribs, Chef John. Yeah, but, you special. But the special ribs uh, recently that we, we've got an award for were our famous peanut butter and jelly ribs. Ooh, we cooked them at the Rub and Tug Invitational in Key West, That's Florida. Right. Uh, a little over a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, Dave Williams, comedian Dave Williamson, Love that myself, guy. Uh, and, uh, oh, crap. Uh-oh. Who else? Uh-oh. Uh, a, a lot of other people, lot but of people. Uh, that I can't name off the top of my head, but we had a great time. Yeah. But again, um, all of, and that was a, the, the Rubber Tuck Invitational was a competition. It was actually raising money for childhood pediatric cancers. Oh, that's awesome. So we had a fishing day. Okay. We had a crabbing day. Oh, I love that. Which we went and cooked all of that stuff on a sandbar. Okay. And then the last day was a food competition. Woo! And our team, uh, Meet Dave's team, won all of the food competition. That's what I'm, I would Now we went, didn't win the whole thing because right. we didn't do too well fishing. We didn't do too well crabbing as compared to everybody else. Right. We still had a great time. But um, your food tasted But we the literally best. ran the table on right. all the food. Well, I mean, we I won, expect nothing less from you. And we won with those those uh, peanut butter and jelly ribs that we're going to show you later on today. Ooh, buddy. And again, the peanut butter and jelly rib recipe is available at rectech.com. That's right. Me personally, I tweak it a little bit, yep. make it a little bit sweeter, mm -hmm. a little bit more peanut buttery. Yeah, you do. You know what I'm saying? So. And uh, this is that simple rib recipe. This is also available at rectech.com. Mm -hmm. If you're ever looking for a recipe or you think you're trying to make something, head on over there. It's super easy to navigate through, and I bet you we have a recipe for something that you're thinking about. Now, I didn't, you, don't, you didn't put a binder on there. No, but if I did, I would have definitely been using our good friend Bijan's Dijon. Shut up, Bijan. Oh, we love you, I, buddy. I had a, the Falcons had a hell of a game the yeah, other they, day. Yeah, they did. I'm doing well. In, no, 
I'm not doing well in fantasy football. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Um, but uh, but man, football is back. Yeah, I'm I fired up about it. I don't really want to talk about football right no? now. No. No. Oh, a the rough, Giants. Yeah, I had a rough week last week. I had Greenbrier football. Shout out Greenbrier. Then you know my girlfriend likes Tennessee, so I cheered for Tennessee. And then I, uh, my team, the Giants play. So it was just a bad. It was a bad week for your boy for football. God, man, but that's that's the cool thing about football is that one week. It could be amazing, and yeah. then the next week it could be near death. That's right. You but know what I'm saying? The first week you like for it to be amazing. First yeah, yeah, it was for the Falcons. Yeah, heck yeah. Hey, shout Rise out. Rise on up, Falcons. Shout out. Shout out, Bijan. He got him a touchdown. He got his first Bijan. touchdown. We love you. Uh, somebody was asking on YouTube, what beers are we drinking today? I'm drinking that Shiner Bach. That's right. Um, one of my favorite beers. And then I, I got Chef John. The Terrapin Los, Los Bravos. Bravos. That's right. We're Los celebrating uh, with the Braves as well. Our oh, yeah. good buddy Spike, yeah. who is actually the uh, inventor and founder of Terrapin. I love that. Shout out, buddy Spike. Uh, he, made those, he made that for the Braves. Okay. And they just won. Their sixth straight division title, my man. See, at least I cheer for the Braves. That's good. At least I have one team that's doing <laughs> Love something. Love the Braves, baby. Hey, baby. Let's Shout go, out. Braves. But yeah, th good question out there. All yeah. right. So, these ribs, yeah. we've been cooking at about 250 degrees. Break it down to For them, about Jody. five and a half, six hours. That's right. Okay? Easy peasy lemon squeeze. What pellets? We did not wrap them whatsoever. We've been using the ultimate blend pellet today. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm doing ribs, I will dabble with the cherry and I will dabble with the apple. I like I'll mix that. the cherry and apple together yep. because it gives it a little bit more sweeter flavor. And I love that sweet sweetness when it comes to ribs. I totally agree, 100%. Um, and now the peanut butter and jelly ribs, we did start out with that honey rib rub. Yep. It's going to give it some sweetness again. Mm -hmm. But come on in here. We were using the patio legend, that RT410, 400. 10 square inches of cooking surface. I've got that extra interior shelf in there as well. But check out those baby bags and check out these St. Louis ribs. Ooh. They look absolutely amazing. And we could put that extra shelf on the bullseye as well. Now, I've got our sauce that we made up a little bit earlier here and we're ready to glaze these bad boys. And again, this recipe is available at Rectech.com. It's There's not much to it. It's just really the glaze and the sauce that you put on after the fact, okay, everybody? So again, just getting that Rasa Ruski's honey rib rub on there and then getting that delicious peanut butter glaze, peanut butter jelly glaze. And mm. again, put your favorite uh, jelly that you like for your peanut butter sandwiches. I'm curious about this okay. because when I, when I taste and I want the peanut butter and jelly flavor, right. I want to taste grape. But when I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly, I want it, I want strawberry jelly I or something that. like, or something yeah. crazy. Yeah, so. I feel the same way. I now, feel the same way. Here you go, Chef John. You can have that, that sauce brush. It's just going to have a little bit of peanut butter no, on it. No, it's all good. So we're going to close this up and glaze this for about five minutes. Easy yeah. peasy, lemon squeezy. What about you, man? You're looking good over there on that yeah, bullseye, buddy. son. So what I got in my uh, little sauce pot right here warming up is that Harry's secret sauce. This stuff is part of that rubbing sauce bundle. You can find that at rectech.com. Definitely guys, go on over and check it out. We got some crazy deals and specials going on right now. Eric Olson saying, go Packers, beat the Falcons. Get the heck out of here, Eric. Eric, Eric come on, bro. Uh, come Manny's on. wondering if he can get a shout out for buying a brand new 700. Manny. Of course, Manny. Hey, Orozco, shout out Manny Orozco. All right, so Jody likes to dab his. This oh, is how I do my Lord, sauce. Oh, jeez and crap. And that Harry's sauce is thick enough and it's not going to run everywhere, right? Thicker than a snicker. So I just go back and forth like this and let the sauce just do what it does. You know, just nice and slow. Just kind of like willing the sauce to the areas that I want it willing to. Willing it. Yeah, to delve on. Jalapeno jelly is a good answer. Oh yeah, that Orange is. marmalade would be good. Absolutely, very good answers out there. Look at now, that. Now again, we got a winner to announce in there just a do. little bit. We're also going to be spinning that wheel of Rectech. Landed on a Rectech hat last week, so we're going to be giving one of those one of those away. So I make sure you guys it. stay tuned. Man, I love that extra interior shelf on that bullseye. It works great. It's you know a what I'm great saying? tool. And there. a lot of my buddies with the Big Green Egg or the Komodo Joes right. or any of those Komodo style grills, mm -hmm. they always get that smaller interior shelf because it reminds them yep. of the shelf that they have That's right. for that Komodo grill that That's they have. That's exactly right. Now again, um, we're just going to let the sauce uh, glaze for just a little bit, right? Yeah, just just a minute. Probably enough yeah. time that we can spin the wheel and. And we talked about um, not putting cold sauce some hot food. Definitely don't do that, guys. That's why we have the, the pots out there. You right. gotta warm it up. So tell them why though, Jody. Why do you wanna warm your sauce up? So the reason why you wanna warm your sauce up is because you, that piece of meat is hot, okay? And it is hot and it is hot all the way around, yeah. okay? And if you go and you put cold sauce on it, 
just like your muscles. Again, Chef John was talking about it being tight when it's cold and being loose when it's hot. Yep. It's going to tighten those muscles back, back up and it's going to cause a temperature fluctuation on the meat. So again, the reason why the Rectech is the best in the business is because it holds temperature perfectly. Right. You set it at 250, it's going to hold temperature 250, mm -hmm. okay? You don't want to put cold sauce after that grill has been working its butt off no. to hold that temperature perfectly. No, you do not. Because again, that's going to, it's going to create differentiations in go. the texture exactly of your right. food. Preach. Whew. Amen. Man, it took me a second to get that out. <laughs> but the Lord came to me and he That's gave right. me that to give to them. I appreciate it. They okay. appreciate it. Through my mouth, their ears. Hey, smash that share button. We'll give you three seconds. Three, three two, two, one. Smash it! Oh, uh, Glenn said he tried applesauce and it oh. turned the ribs to mush. Mm. There's some acidity in apples. There's a lot of acidity, especially in the sauce. Now, I bet if you made your own applesauce and just stewed some apples oh, down, yeah. you would definitely, and put a little brown sugar in there, you definitely get a different result. But all of that preservatives and stuff they add to applesauce, Ooh. it's going to be no bueno. Apple butter? That's a good That's a good answer. I know butter. it's not jelly, but yeah. apple butter's apple really butter good, too. Great, yeah. Everybody's talking about how good your ribs look, Chef John. Thank you very much. It's not my first time, y'all. It's not my first time, isn't it? You know. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's announce that winner. Last week we spun the wheel of Rectech yes, and landed sir. on a Rectech hat. That's right. This person, um, we were we announced the bands to Rectech Fest. It's going to be Charlie Daniels Band uh, tribute tribute with Mr. Yeah. Eric Lee Benfield. Come on now, you can't get much Woo better than Eric Lee Benfield. And Gary Gary Benfield's going to be there too. I asked for Gary to be here. You yeah. know, he's my favorite. Yeah, Gary is my favorite too. Love you, Gary. <laughs> Love, Love you, Gary. Pookie. Love you, Gary. Um, but uh, but this person did everything we asked him to. Yes. We asked them to name, if, if you, Greg, and myself were to start a band, right. what would our band name be? And this person had a good one. This was a good one. So give us, a, give me a, a drum roll, please. So the winner of last week's contest, oh crap, Daniel, I lost your, um, roll, roll. Mr. Jacob Tyler. Hey, Jacob. Shout out, Jacob. Make sure you DM the Facebook page, and we will confirm that it is you and get that headed out there to you. You can add something to it if yeah, you want. Yeah, for sure. To. Um, Take advantage of some of those things we right. got going on right now. And like his fun. name for our band was The Great Smokers. Yeah. I, I mean, like that's that. true. That's right. It's, it's, I like names that are true. Yeah. You know, like um, like The Doors. Yeah. You know, those guys, you know, like to be alone all the time. Mm -hmm. Like um, uh, Sexual Chocolate. Sexual Chocolate. Yeah. Those you know, got, that boy's good. Yeah, that boy's good. That boy's good. <laughs> good. Terrible. Good. Terrible. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> yeah, if you know what we're talking about, let us know in the comment section down below. But it's your turn to spin the Wheel of Rack Tech, sir. Are, are you sure? So, I thought it was your turn. No, I spun it last week. Okay. All right, well, come on over here, guys. So what are the rules, big guy? Uh, there's two rules. First rule is you have to spin it with utmost confidence in yourself, a.k.a. hard as hell. Yes. Second rule is you have to spin it to the right. Now, we always like to put it on what we want to give away. And I like giving away grills, so I know there's Most a... Most expensive, There baby. we go, a B380X is what we're shooting for today. Jody, count me down, please. Three, two, one, spin it! All right, round and round it goes. All you got to do is like this video, share this video, and go in the comment section and ask an awesome question. Yes. That's Here all we you go. gotta do. What do we got? Win. What do we got? Thumb, Thumb grinders. grinders. That's awesome. One of our new accessories. We are gonna get those right out to whoever wins those. So all you <laughs> do is go in the comment section, <laughs> leave us a great question, like and share this video. That's all it. right. Easy peasy, right? Yeah, buddy? super easy. All right, what do you got going on now, Jay? All right, so I like to uh, garnish these ribs with some crushed uh, oh. peanuts. Oh. No, peanuts. Jim oh. Carrey, not that other thing. Okay. Um, peanuts, everybody. It gives it a nice crunch. Again, everybody knows I'm a texture eater. Yes. And I like uh, contrasting textures uh, when I eat. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got to have some crunch on there. You know, and I'm a huge fan of cilantro. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to throw some cilantro yeah, on there. Why? Just because it looks green. No, you, you do do that a lot. And it doesn't taste like soap to me like it does <laughs> many other people. Oh. All right. Got to make sure these new work. New accessory. Got to make sure these work, big guy. All right, these Ooh. baby backs look absolutely amazing. And again, look at that color. Not surprised at all at how these look. So you take they that. They look great. Take Jenny, are they going to taste like peanut butter and jelly is what I want to know. They're going to have an amazing flavor, my man. Now, these things are going to be hot. We're going to have to let them cool off. Cheese and crackers. But we just sprinkle those peanuts wow. on top gives it a great contrasting color as well everybody that looks great big guy but just make a mess on your cutting board it's okay you don't have pictures to take at home <laughs> we got pictures last week of this right you know as a matter of fact this is like a deja vu episode isn't it kind of like i feel like we've done this before I, I do too i feel like we've probably yeah said the same words and everything yeah but that's <laughs> how you know you're doing a good job is that's when right. you're dreaming about it 
and you're think, having deja vu about your job, America, that's where you want to be. That's the sweet spot. That's when you know that's you're doing the best. Sweet spot. That's right. That's the sweet spot. All right, come on in here, Taylor. Get on in there, Taylor. Look, let's wow. check these bad boys so out. Again, what's that sitting on, big guy? All right, we got that interior shelf, man. Guys, this is one of those accessories that you don't know you need it until you need it. Yes. So go ahead and get yes. it now, you know? It works inside the B382. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Crustification going on. Get this little side. You know, right Chef John, I also like to turn this bad boy upside down. Oh, yeah. And, and just put my shrimp in the cage. Dude, that's, and then I use uh, the legs as the handles to pick it up. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! That taste. I already can already taste the Harry's on there. Mix it with that pork flavor. And I know that's going to be a What's Harry's compared to? I guess it would be like, like a uh, like a KC like masterpiece, a sweet, baby, sweet Ray's. baby Ray's, KC masterpiece, better. way better, way better, way better. But that kind of flavor profile for sure. All right, so I gotta let my cool down for a minute too because these yeah. things are gonna be new killer. Yeah, shoot but, you, guys. We want to tell y'all, Rec Tech Fest. You're not gonna want to miss this one, right? October We're going, 7th. That's right. This year. Yep. And it starts at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. All right. We've got bands. Yep. We've got double the bounce houses this year. Yep. Double the face painters. Yes. Double the chalk zone. Yep. Double the military vehicle uh, touch a truck area. Yep. We got double the stage. Mm -hmm. Double the TVs. Yep. Double the demos. I love it. Quadruple the amount of drinks. Yep. Quadruple the amount of food. Quadruple the amount of parking. Oh, my man, I thought you were going to forget about it. <laughs> Plus, we're going to be having some awesome uh, people show up to. I know Black Rifle's going to be there. Yep, Black Rifle's going to bring us, us all uh, ready to drink coffees yep. to make sure we last the entire day. That's going to be great, guys. Don't miss out. You're going to want to bring the family, bring the dogs, uh, get Grandma up out the rocker. This is going to be one that y'all are going to want to attend. It's going to be one for the ages, It sure. really is. It really is, for sure. Don't miss out. It's going to be a VIP area. Yeah. All the VIPs we got. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We have a lot of VIPs this year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody's VIP. a VIP. Yeah, I love it. I love it. But no, we're going to have a great time. And again, it's free. It's right. all free. We're not charging anybody yeah. to come uh, and celebrate. This is a customer appreciation event. Even yeah. if you're not a customer, you can still come and hang out with us. We would love to see you. Right. Uh, but again, we are, uh, oh, yes, this is so hot, Chef John. You're going to burn your frenulum with that one. <laughs> but look. I'm gonna show you this really quick, Taylor, because it's dripping. You got some beautiful moisture. Oh yeah. Out of these ribs, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it is not. Oh, Lord, we got a squirter right there. Did y'all see that? <laughs> oh, buddy. crackers. That's moisture. And again, it's because we're cooking on a rack tech. That's right. Okay, this thing did not overshoot the temperature that we nope. set it at like the competition does, That's big right. guy. That's right. We set it at 250 degrees. It held that 250 degrees constantly. Yeah. And our uh, temperature gauge, for the internal temperature of that meat just went steadily up just like that. It just didn't like go that. Meow, No. Meow, that's not that's meow, not what you want right there. Meow. You know what that's I'm saying? That's what that's what you want in a dolphin show. Yeah, that's old stick burner right there. That's how that, that That's old right. Stick that's a stick burner, that's your stick Komodo. Burn. That's right. That's you know, exactly that's your gas right. grill. That's exactly right. You know? All right, let's get a slice on these things. And you know what? Every I'm not going to lie to you ladies and gentlemen, you did this last week too. I know. Uh, every Thanks. time we cut ribs from the top side, we always hit that bone. So and it's, we, yeah, it's tough, ladies and we gentlemen. We suggest that you turn them over. Yeah, we do. That way you can see that bottom side. But let me get but, this, let me get this not the regular, the regular. <coughs> but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Yeah, uh, been a hopefully good time. you learned a thing or two. Mm -hmm. Again, check out Rectech.com because we got some sales and specials going on. We've got these recipes also on the website, so go and check those out. Right. Um, I'm really excited about the new injections. If mm -hmm. you guys haven't uh, had a chance to try those, um, these phosphates really do add a lot of moisture they really do. to this meat, ladies and gentlemen. And it is completely different from any other food that you've ever had. If you've never injected with phosphates before, I highly encourage you, pick up some of those Rectech injections at Rectech.com. Super juicy, uh, it'll, it'll change your life. And uh, the other thing is, these uh, these ribs weren't wrapped, guys. Y'all saw us pull them right out, saw some. So the way to go. Smoke ring. I'm going to bite. We're going to bite. We're going to get out of here. Yeah. Um, from everybody here at the Rectech Worldwide Headquarters, uh, make sure you follow Rectech on all social media. Make sure Smoke you're following ring. me. I'm Jody Flanagan at That's Barbecue right. Dad Jody. Make sure you follow Chef John at Chef John Pinnell mm -hmm. and then Chef Greg Muller as well, That's our right. cohort. Um, but from everybody here, we'll see you at, at the, the Rectech. Rectech. Mm. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. So I needed that. Smoky.